wanted to create a flawed hero. I wanted a Spencer. I wanted like a new time Travis McGee. Maybe more of an Elvis Cole or a, or a Harry Bosch. But I want him to be a little bit more vulnerable. A little bit more everyman. Somebody the reader could identify with. Somebody who was perhaps somewhat ordinary but put in extraordinary circumstances where he had to react and make a difference. Duffy's job tells a story. During the day, he's a low-level social worker. He deals with people from the, from the ghetto, people who are really up against it. But he's no bleeding heart liberal. He sees the people in the ghetto for what they are. Sometimes victims, but sometimes people who are self-defeating manipulators. And his job is to get them to keep their life together. He's also a pro boxer. Now I work in pro boxing, and pro boxing isn't always glamour and HBO and limousines. A lot of times it's a few hundred bucks for the trouble of getting punched in the face, but it's also fertile ground for great stories and great crime fiction. Tough sidekick is Al the Basset Hound. They got together when Al's master got murdered in county jail and Duffy had agreed to take care of him. He provides comic relief, but he does a whole lot more than that. More than once, he's come to Duff's rescue, and he has a way of being Duff's moral compass, letting Duff know exactly what's most important. The Vegas knockout takes Duffy to a place he's never gone before. He's in with the Russian mob, with prostitution, illegal immigration, a whole world of street crime, and of course, murder. And during the day, his assignment, be the top sparring partner for the number one rated heavyweight contender in the world. This is a case where Duffy needs to find something deep within himself. Something maybe he didn't know was there, but something he desperately needs to find. The Vegas Knockout is the darkest, grittiest, fastest moving Duffy yet.